Ladies, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, we're going to be talking about uh, Run That The Fuck Back. What was that? No. Okay. Hey, really? No. You gotta go with no one. my channel it's your girl the real ap and as you can tell by the title we're gonna be doing a skincare routine and i'm just gonna have to shower and i put on my serving healing ointment on my feet and put some socks on because it is still winter time and my skin is really really dry throughout the year period but in the winter time it's extreme makes you me dry so now I'm gonna wet my face with hot water first. The typical spill. And I'm gonna show y'all what I do with every single night. No cap. I'm gonna take my hair, skin, and nail gummies. I try to do the pills, but it's enough for me. So I got to the gummies. And this is the. Um, orange flavor i know i'm gonna get the strawberry it's not that bad but it's not my cup of tea also when i'm in the shower i use um a sugar scrub not every day probably like once or twice a week um this is the tree hut i love tree hut the tree hut burning sugar scrub that's a real exfoliant, but every day, this smells so good. I can vouch. I've been on the Ordinary. Um, this is new. I just got this about a month ago. This is the Balance Set. Um, it has the cleanser, the mask, um, yeah, cinnamide, and a moisturizing. But I have a typical everyday routine and i just added the balance set with it so i'm gonna just show y'all all i have sadly today is not mask day i put a mask on yesterday so i'm pretty much ready to exfoliate um i normally do this i try to do this once a month um if not at least once every season that's probably like three times a year um i'm not sure what the actual term is called i know like salons use it but i just use a regular old eyebrow razor i've been doing this for quite a while probably for about at least three years a regular eyebrow razor my face is really 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 dull um, not to mention dry. Um, so just getting the razor not only fix my eyebrows, <laughs> but also um, get all the dead skin, the first layer um, off my face, any dirt. So right now I'm using the um, cleanser. It's um, a facial cleanser and also a makeup remover. It comes on like, not like coconut oil, but a little, a little thicker. So you put it on and once you put water on it, it turns into like a milky kind of something's gonna have a piercing and we're gonna get into that for anybody who there no piercings but make sure you get your neck because what you put on your face you must put on your neck um um a mask right now but i put one on yesterday 
and the mass the salicylic acid is only twice a week and i already did it twice a week so From 2021 didn't start until this past Monday, the 11th. The first week was just a trial. So sorry for the birthday. <laughs> the birthday post so late. But this new year was like, eh, it's another day. I just got a facial and they did extra extractions. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I got these little scars on my face, which is kind of good. So later on, uh, I'm gonna do another update video and then you'll see how these products uh, fix these um, little scars, I guess you could say. I'm going with my Serby eye cream. I typically, not typically, but I used to use a little roller thing, the J roller. It's still in my freezer, but it wasn't really giving me another, enough adjustives. But I might try it. I might throw that into my next routine. So I just put three drops doo -doo -doo, under my eye. Put the hyaluronic acid on there because it locks in moisture and if you put a hyaluronic acid on dry skin it doesn't really have enough moisture to like lock in so when your skin is fairly damp um you kind of So the neosamide basically helps um, like sebum bumps. Um, it states fine lines, but this product, you definitely should pat it. Um, I have like little hormono, hormono, <laughs> acne, like around my T-zone area. It's like these little bumps. I don't know if y'all can tell now, but these little bumps right here, um, it kind of helps. After that, um, I use my Alpha RB10. This helps my dark spots, um, hypopigmentation. Um, it says to put it all over your face, but I just put it all over my dark spots. This is a new product that I've been using. This and the salicylic acid mask is new to my routine. Lastly, I use my natural um, moisturizer. This is also new. It came with the balance, balance set. Um, I normally just go with my thicker moisturizer versus the set of fill, but um, I do both now since this came with the set. So once I'm done washing my face, I basically go to my sea salt solution, which is um, just sea salt and water. Um, I have like a little bump from my piercing. So um, after I wash my face really good, I take this sea salt solution and I just, you know, Once that's dry, I move on to my last part of my skincare routine. I use my tattoo goo to hydrate my tattoo, make it stay fresh, keeping the black, you know, bold and all that. I also have one on my back.
But my tattoo heals well, you guys. So, besides my little piercing bump, I have really, 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 really sensitive skin. Um, I have heloid skin, meaning like any puncture or any wound that has to be open and closed. Like, it's really, really... What the fuck? <laughs> um, it's really, really sensitive and it heals. So basically, a kilo is when the skin, when it grows, it like grows too fast. So then it's actually like processed. So it forms like thicker skin on top of each other. So this, I don't think it's a keloid bump because at my last birthday video, y'all seen that it bursted into blood. So I'm not too sure, but I still use a sea salt solution. To, but um, the scar away, I've been using this on and off for the past five years. Um, this is new. They didn't always have the silicone gel. They always had just the um pad which i've been using on and off um this is the silicone bandage and this is a gel i got this off of amazon um, a subscription so um you guys can get that if you guys have any scars um i'm not too sure if this is good for blemishes i'm quite sure because it's really, really strong but let me just show you guys Okay, so this is one of the scars. With my experience when, like since I'm obviously a dark complexion, my scars tend to be like pretty like fairly darker. So when it's like like a pinkish hue, that's why I noticed that like I put more scar away on there because when your skin gets kind of like pinkish, it's the layer softening a little bit and taking in the silicone. It does take a while, but I truly, 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 truly recommend it a thousand percent. Um also, the ordinary, I do recommend you to try it. I'm not so gun ho on it just yet. I am a fan girl because it works for me, but I don't know about anybody else. So, um, after I let my skin dry for the gel, I'm going to put the um, silicone strip on there just to like speed up the process. The main thing about skincare drinking lots of water having glowy skin no matter the expensive products or how many products you use if you don't drink and hydrate your body and your skin all these steps are pointless you must drink 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 if you're not a water drinker try to start off with a bottle of water every single day and work your week work your way up if you like cold water if you like um temperature water i'm a cold water type of chick i don't care about the oh if you drink cold water ice cold water you're not a water drinker i don't care i get my 32 plus ounces every day so don't cover me but <laughs> make sure um, you guys drink lots of water it's the winter time um i do live in california so my climate might be different than yours it is kind of windy and cold right about this time so yes any questions any concerns comment Please wrap it down in the comment section. Okay, hey Rillies, welcome back. So it's been about three weeks, and as you can tell, my skin is a little bit lighter. My dark spots aren't as profound. So right now, I'm just washing my face with my Cetaphil. Um, as you can see, this big burn mark. Stay tuned for the next video to watch that. I'm putting my salicylic acid. Your skin must be dry to put um, any of the ordinary products besides hydroironic acid. Um, like I said, because that sucks in all the moisture and needs to be um, wet. But the mask is only for 10 minutes. And while I wait for that, um, I put on a 30-minute white strip. The light doesn't do no justice, but my teeth are kind of yellow. 
So I put that for 30 minutes. Um, I really stand by the Crest white strips. I've been using this before and after I got braces. So now I'm continuing using my Scar Away. Um, my skin has gotten a little softer in the past three weeks, but I didn't get the bandages this time. After my strips is on there and my Scar Away gel is dry, I make sure my mask is dry before I wipe it off. It says 10 minutes, but I make sure that my mask is dry, so um, I know the mask actually worked. After I wipe down the mask, I accidentally <laughs> wipe my scar. It hurts so bad on my forehead. So I go in my squalane cleanser. I rub it in my hands like butter. It is a makeup remover, so that's why it's so thick. But I rub it over my eyes. It's very gentle. Um, wipe around my piercing. My piercing bump kind of went down the past three weeks. So after that, I go in with my hyaluronic accent, accent acid with my damp skin, and I do pat um, all my products in my skin um, just so that my skin just absorbs it all in instead of just rubbing it in because I do have dry skin. Secondly, I use my niacinamide. This helps with my fine lines and my sebum bumps. Um, I do put this all over. Um, I don't use my lactic acid or my alpha arbutane because it doesn't go well with the niacinamide. It's just acids and different products that you shouldn't mix with. And then lastly, I'm going with my Natural Factor Moisturizer. Um, this is very lightweight, but I also use a thicker moisturizer, which is my Cetaphil, on top of that. And after that, I do a little spot treating with some tea tree oil and also some calamine lotion. I just put that in any blemishes or any bumps that I feel or see that's coming later on. Um, some dark spots. It does work here and there, but not guaranteed. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And for 100 followers, we're on the road to 200. Thank you guys so much and happy new year. Mm -hmm. Oh.